I gotta go pick up like 3,000 pounds of meat. Am I picking up 3,000 pounds of meat? This is a fundraiser with the Air Cadet Squadron, and since I'm the SSE chair, <laughs> a lot of this stuff falls on my shoulders. Got some work done this morning. I'm gonna whip out to Bazano, grab some meat, write a check, bring it back, and then tonight I'm going to be distributing it to the parents. Funny thing about fundraising, with, with any group sports that I've noticed, whether it's hockey or music, Air Cadets, it's the same group of people helping out all the time, you know? As we were doing this other fundraiser and uh, one of the parents told me, he's like, oh, actually, our family, we, we don't really do fundraising. Don't do fundraising. It's a free program. You don't pay for it. You're not willing to do a little bit of fundraising. Anyways, I'm kind of excited for the drive. I love driving this truck here. It used to be a truck for the company that I worked for and I've driven this truck down to Texas. I've driven it to California on a separate trip. Me and this truck, I tell you, we go way back. That's a beautiful day for a ride. bar yeah chains are good things are good everything's good I don't know why I always get nervous I always like to check after about 10 minutes but we're good this is the Trans Canada Highway you can go from one end of Canada to the other on this here road probably not the most thrilling drive you can make but you know I get a lot of comments a lot of people ask how on earth can you stand living somewhere this flat I mean, just over that hill are the Rocky Mountains, but it's kind of one of those things. I think you just, you like where you grow up. I'm a prairie boy. This to me, this is what I like. You may never understand it, but that's okay. We have made it to Bazano. Now I just gotta wait for the driver. It's actually coming from Medicine Hat, which is a few more hours down the road, but he's meeting here because he delivers to this restaurant. So that's cool. Okay, we got it all loaded. That was nice and quick. And actually, we were supposed to meet here at one o'clock. It's 1.10 and we're ready to roll. So that was great. He was early, I was early, like that. You want to see what over $10,000 worth of meat looks like? These boxes are chicken fingers, burgers, chicken breasts, and this, my friends, this is all bacon. Fresh, never frozen, thick sliced bacon. <laughs> I wish it was all mine, but uh, I've got to go back this evening, and hopefully most of the parents will come pick it up tonight, and then we're also going to do some deliveries tomorrow. I just drive up to our LHQ, the headquarters there, and uh, open it up, and people come take their bacon. So this was good. Roads are good. Early, I, I love it. I love it when days go like this, you know? Especially, you, you look how it is right now, outside. So it's probably like a, around the freezing mark. And, uh, you know, this time of year, we could have minus 30. We've already had like minus 25 for a few days, but this is just fantastic. Out in a t-shirt, like Canadians do when it's uh, right around the freezing mark. Anyways, I'm going to uh, just check out my load, see how it's balanced. I think I did a good job. That's why I kind of spread it all out. I want to distribute the weight. So I'm not too tongue heavy. I want a little more weight on the tongue. But I don't want the back end of the trailer to be too heavy because then it kind of wags the dog, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's uh, go have a look outside and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's sitting pretty good. I'm happy with that. I guess the real test will be when we're driving. All right, we got a nicely balanced load. It feels great. And uh, it's actually a lot smoother now that I've got some weight in that trailer. It's not bouncing near as much. Oh, 
honestly this feels i actually feel way safer with a little bit of weight in that trailer so that's good the other thing i was really concerned about is that sometimes we can get some pretty crazy winds out here obviously i mean <laughs> there's no trees to to knock the wind down but man it is a nice calm day the roads are perfect i don't know if i could have uh couldn't have done this on a better day so i'm stoked So I made it home safe and sound. And what I'm gonna do for tonight, the trailer, the trailer doesn't have lights and obviously I need to see what I'm doing. So I think I'm gonna use my little video light here. Cause this has got like a little battery pack. What do we got? I should maybe charge these, top them up. But this will give us enough light for, uh, you know, to be able to see what we're doing. I can adjust the color temperature, you know, make it comfortable, but this will be perfect. All right, we're just ready to have some uh, have some supper. Check this out, look how dark it is. It's that dark and it is 5.22 in the evening. I had lights on this trailer, I had running lights and brake lights, no, not running lights. I had signal lights and brake lights. The brakes obviously work, but the running lights weren't working. So I had to do a little bit of finagling. Ah, we got them going. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take this bacon to the parents. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, working, I'm really working my best to get a build video out, a knife build video out for Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.